In today's video, I want to take you guys through reports of a big PlayStation Network update coming very soon based on the fact that beta invites are being sent out right now. We'll talk that. There's some free stuff available right now on the PlayStation Store on top of the Plus games that were announced. You can get some DLC for one of those said Plus games. The Plus games themselves aren't live yet, but the DLC is. want to talk a little bit about Predator Hunting Grounds a little bit more as that game has its trial weekend set for March 27th until the 29th of Clarissa. That will be exclusive to PlayStation Plus members, but that is a very exciting addition to next month's lineup, and it's definitely going to be something to have your eyes on. And Cyber Shadow finally makes its way to the PlayStation 4. This was a really cool game published by Yacht Club Games and developer Mechanical Head Studios, and it will finally be coming to the PS4. It was received really well on, over on PC, and now PlayStation guys are going to be able to play it as well. But first up, report PlayStation 4 update 7.5 beta invites are being sent out right now. Now, as noted by MPFirst.com, it seems Sony is going to let some players test out the new PlayStation 4 firmware very soon. As PS4 Update 7.5 beta invites are apparently being sent out as we speak. Over on Twitter, multiple people have posted screenshots of the invite, which uh, they've translated below, noting, We invite you to PlayStation 4 system software 7.5 beta test. Please participate in this test program. Thank you for your cooperation and improving the quality of system software in the future. There are no new features in this beta test improved operation stability. Now, they, there's a couple things a little bit strange about it. They specifically know that, uh, that there are no new features in uh, the beta test improved operation stability. However, you would have to think it would be a significant operation stability improvement because usually when they do these stability updates, they don't run big beta tests alongside it. So that's a little strange. Also, added to the fact that usually numerically speaking, the 0.5 updates are usually rather substantial when you have like the 1.5 update to 2.0, 2.5, 3.0, so on and so forth, those updates are usually rather substantial. Now, it could be a sense of they're increasing operation stability quite a bit, security features, whatever the case may be, or it might even be that they will ultimately add new features to it. This could be just like the first wave of beta tests, and then they can introduce something in a little bit. Whatever the case may be, I want to keep you guys updated to it, because we haven't gotten a significant PlayStation Network update in quite a while in terms of, you know, an update that's like a 7.0 or a 7.5 update, this being the 7.5 update, you would think that alongside it, you would get some significant improvements. Even if it's from operational stability, it should be big improvements in that regard because they are doing beta testing because of the numbered element. Again, I don't know how strongly you should be taking the fact that it's update 7.5, but traditionally speaking, those updates are usually the bigger ones. No word yet on whether there's new features yet to be revealed, but uh, they note, I suspect there will be some given that there are asking people to test it. We're keeping an eye out for more details, and obviously we'll update a video if we spot anything brand new. Also, unlike past beta tests, there doesn't seem to be a friend invite option this time around, so it is good being exclusive to the people that got it sent out based on the Japanese tweets that were put up. Again, when we hear more about update 7.5, we'll let you guys know. All right, moving on from that, Yes, the PlayStation Plus games have been revealed. Shadow of the Colossus, which is fantastic, and also Sonic Forces, which is very timely given the release of the Sonic movie, and that's been received rather well. I do also want to let you guys know that there are some Sonic Forces DLC available for free right now. You should definitely add this to your library. You've got the Super Sonic DLC. Speed through the levels faster than Sonic is. Super Sonic. Get the Super Sonic DLC for Sonic Forces now to transform into Super Sonic across 20 plus modern and classic Sonic. Collect the right amount of rings and Super Sonic will spring into action, giving you the ability to sprint across stages at breakneck speeds. You cannot participate in the rankings with Super Sonic, so bear that in mind. Sonic Forces is noted to be the latest Sonic the Hedgehog game that lets you create a custom character with powerful gadgets, speed through rolling ruined landscapes as modern Sonic and catapult past perilous platforms as classic Sonic. So that's free right now. And then you also have Sainik t-shirts. Sometimes you've got to go fast. These exclusive Sainik t-shirts for your custom characters feature beautifully rendered art and virtual threads organically grown on the snowing peaks of Mount Fuji many years ago. So both of those DLC pieces are available for free right now. Head on over to the PlayStation Store and add them to your library before uh, Sonic Forces goes live. Come next Tuesday and Two games next Tuesday that are definitely worth checking out. Shadow of the Colossus is obviously a tremendous game. Everybody should be playing that if you haven't already. 
but Sonic is a franchise that I feel like a lot of gamers are just gonna inherently be nostalgic with, and maybe you fell out of Sonic love years ago, even though there have been some decent Sonic games with Sonic Generation, Sonic Mania, Sonic Forces definitely was not the best Sonic game, but again, with that nostalgic element attached to it, it's still being an okay game, I do think it's a game that's gonna get some attention come next Tuesday. Alright, next up, I do want to talk a little bit more about Predator Hunting Grounds Trial Weekend, and that's been set for March 27th to the 29th, as a lot of information has been coming out about that. I glossed over it quickly during our Plus video, because I didn't even realize this was going to be a part of PlayStation Plus in March, but it was noted a Trial Weekend for Predator Hunting Grounds will run from March 27th until the 29th, for PlayStation 4, players with a PlayStation Plus membership and PC players via the Epic Game Store, so this is an Epic Game Store exclusive by the looks of it. Publisher Sony Interactive Entertainment and developer Iphonic announced, like the full game, the trial will support cross-play uh, platform play before the two platforms, which is really great to see. A lot of PlayStation 4 titles, they get cross-platform play after the fact. Some of them get them right out of the gate, but when we can start getting cross-platform play right after a game is released, right away when the game comes out, I think that's a step in a very, very right direction. And the trial will be able to be downloaded on March 27th in Japan at 15 JST in Europe at 4 p.m. GMT and in North America at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Players will be able to play solo as the Predator or team up online with three others as a part of a fire team. Here are some things to know when playing as a fire team via the CEO, Charles Bergengard. He noted the odds are against you. Who doesn't love a challenge? We love that when you play as a fire team, it really captures the feeling of power, of being the best of the best. You have access to a state-of-the-art arsenal and gear that lets you feel like you can take down an army. And you will. Fire team players have a mission to accomplish and must face lots of AI opponents, plus another player hunting them as the Predator. Get a real sense of fear. The original Predator movie was scary and so is playing this game. You land in the map with a mission at hand and battle AI opponents to accomplish key objectives and then all of the sudden you hear that ominous clicking noise a threat that could be coming from anywhere on top of this suspense when the predator attacks it's terrifying the predator is relentless it can pounce on you from above shoot deadly plasma from the shadows or rip you apart up close the thrill of being hunted made the original movie so fun to watch and what makes playing on the fire team so much fun and you'll have to make it out a lot just like in the films you need to regroup with your team reevaluate your situation and decide how you're gonna get out alive the game gives you all the tools you need but the tactics and strategy is all on you. Do you escape the predator or turn the tables and hunt it down? Do you band together and use your collective firepower to fend it off? Do you divide and conquer? Do you use the environment and AI opponents to your advantage? Predator Hunting Grounds is due out for PlayStation 4 and PC relatively soon, so this trial should give you a good idea to ultimately what you're going to see in the final game. The full game will be out on April 24th, and the trial being from March 27th to 29th, you're essentially getting a finished version of the game, but hopefully that helps them with some balancing issues, network stability, things of that sort. I think the trial will help them out with. Obviously, it is going to be something that's going to be exclusive to Plus subscribers, so do bear that in mind, but definitely excited for that, and I'll be talking about that more as we get closer to March 27th, since in the grand scheme of things, we're still a decent ways away with everything that's going on in gaming, but in the overarching scheme of things, not that far away for the release of the full game. All right, lastly, I do want to note Sa Cyber Shadow launches this fall for PlayStation 4. This is so exciting. This is a game that released on PC or it was to be released on PC, but we hadn't heard anything about a version on other platforms, but the game looked like a very, very slick, old-school action retro Metroidvania title. You can talk about the game forever, but Yacht Club Games also released a new trailer highlighting the story and announced that the Switch version of the game will support Shovel Knight series Amiibo, so that's pretty cool for those of you guys that play uh, on the Switch. Here's an overview of the title from Yacht Club. The world has been taken over by synthetic lifeforms. A desperate plea for help sets Shadow on a journey to uncover what started the path to perpetual ruin. Slash through the techno hordes, leap past traps, and nimbly navigate the ruins of Mecha City. Once you unlock the secrets to your clan's ancient powers in Cyber Shadow, the quintessential ninja action game. Dash, slice, and leap through masterfully designed levels filled with sharply honed ninja platforming action, authentic 8-bit presentation with handcrafted sprite, a detailed pixel aesthetic, and perfect control 
almost modern touches like fluid animation, multi-layered parallax backgrounds, and evolved game design. Take down more than a dozen apocalyptic bosses from enormous war machines to your synthetic clan rivals. Relive the authenticity of classic 8-bit challenge or experience it for the first time with an added convenience or two. Rescue your clan to unlock permanent ninjutsu skills and abilities, combining them seamlessly as only the warrior of legend could. Search for secrets as you explore the ruined world. Return to your old haunts to find supplies, items, and upgrades. Experience the gripping story told both in-game and through animated cinematic story scenes between the action. Who can be trusted? How far will Shadow go to protect his clan and the ones he loves? And you've got a pulse-pounding soundtrack rounding everything out by Enrique Martin, produced by Jake Kaufman. So a lot to like out of this game, and if you're into old-school action games, that are that is going to be a little bit more of a challenging title. Cyber Shadow is going to be right up your alley, and it will be launching on PlayStation 4 this fall. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, reports are coming out that PlayStation 4 update 7.5 beta invites are being sent out right now. Hopefully, it's a relatively substantial update with it being numbered 7.5 and with beta invites being sent out, you would have to think so. Check your email to see if you got an invite for yourself. For PlayStation Plus subscribers, you're getting Sonic Forces next week, but do check out the Super Sonic Insane t-shirts. Free DLC available right now. Predator Hunting Grounds trial weekend is set for March 27th until the 29th, and Cyber Shadow launches this fall on the PlayStation 4 and just about every other platform. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.